Uh, we can go ahead and get started then. Good evening, everybody. Uh, it is Wednesday, December 7th, 2022, and the time is approximately 7.05 p.m. My name is Joe Stamana, and I'm the designee at this hearing for the Montgomery County Department of Transportation. Here with me this evening to conduct this public hearing is Mr. Robert Gonzalez, manager of the sidewalk program within the Division of Transportation Engineering for the Montgomery County Department of Transportation. Also in attendance are Mr. Rick Holly, the field supervisor, Mr. Juan Berrios, construction representative, and Ms. Lori Main, planning specialist, all with the sidewalk program. Mr. Gonzalez will be providing the information and details regarding the proposed project. Thank you all for joining us in this virtual uh, platform. Although we have, had, we have held quite a few virtual hearings, we are still learning, so please bear with us if we encounter any technical difficulty tonight. Please note that tonight's hearing is being recorded. A link to the recording will be posted on the sidewalk program website by 5 p.m. tomorrow. A link to the sidewalk program website will be provided on your screen and is at the top of the chat box on this virtual pro, uh, platform. You may also notice that your video camera is turned off by default this evening. To reduce the bandwidth of the meeting and to maximize technical efficiency, we request that you please do not turn on your video camera. Likewise, your microphones have been muted. Once the testimony portion of this hearing begins, those who have signed up to tes testify will be called on and asked to unmute when it is your turn to speak. Once invited to unmute, you can unmute yourself by clicking the microphone at the top, uh, at the bottom left of your screen. If you have not signed up in advance to testify, testify but wish to do so, please raise your hand by clicking the reactions icon at the bottom of the screen and then clicking raise hand. If you are joining us via telephone only, you may raise your hand by pressing star nine on your telephone keypad and star six to unmute yourself once invited to unmute. Please wait until the testimony portion of this hearing to raise your hand. You may raise your hand at any time during the testimony portion. We will call on you to provide your oral testimony and unmute your microphone when it is your turn to speak. Written testimony and comments may be submitted as well and will be considered with the same weight as oral testimony. Following the testimony portion of this hearing, we will hold a question and answer session. You may also raise your hand to ask a question or you're welcome to type your question in the chat box, the icon for which is at the bottom of your screen. Tonight's hearing is being held pursuant to section 4953 of the Montgomery County Code. The purpose of this, of a public hearing is to obtain testimony regarding the potential project to assist in determining if the project is in the best interest of the public and whether the project should be authorized for construction in its entirety or any portion thereof. This form allows you to provide testimony either in support for or in opposition of the project. Public comments should be focused entirely on the project, which is the topic of discussion. All interested persons are entitled to be heard at this hearing. However, the testimony portion of this hearing is not a forum for dialogue, questions and answers, or cross-examination. Please direct your remarks to the specific project that is the subject of this hearing. If comments stray into areas unrelated in, to this project, I will ask that you refocus your comments to the subject project. Following the conclusion of this public hearing, the, rec uh, the record will remain open for four weeks to allow any person who was unable to attend this hearing an opportunity to have their written testimony and comments included into the public record. 
can be fully considered. The official closing date by which all comments and testimony must be received is Wednesday, Jan 11th, 2023 at 5 p.m. Submissions may be emailed or sent via regular mail and must be received or postmarked by the close of the hearing record. Please be sure to provide your name and property address on your submission. Written submissions will be considered with the same weight as oral testimony. Submissions should be sent to Ms. Main, whose contact information is posted at the top of this evening's chat, as well as on your screen. After the hearing is concluded, the record is officially closed. I, as hearing officer, will review and weigh all the information submitted into the public record and make a recommendation to the director of the Department of Transportation, Chris Conklin, for his final decision as to whether the project has been shown to be in the best public interest and whether to authorize the project as proposed or any portion thereof. And now to discuss the sidewalk proposal for the Hallowed community, uh, I give you Robert Gonzalez. Good evening. Um, can you guys hear me? Can you hear me, Lori? Yes. We can All right. you. Good evening, Ms. Schurz, uh, Tamana, and Barrios, Ms. Main, ladies and gentlemen. The subject of this evening's public hearing is to consider a proposal to construct a five foot wide concrete sidewalk with a zero to three foot wide buffering green space along Old Baltimore Road from Menden Farm Drive to the path at the lake. For your convenience, we have posted a few displays that aid in the visual description of this project. The displays will also be posted on the Sidewalk Program website by 5 p.m. tomorrow, December 8, 2022. They are displays A1 and A2. Uh, display A1 is an aerial project vicinity map of the proposed sidewalk on Old Baltimore Road. The map shows the location of the proposed sidewalk relative to the Hollowell community shared use path. Display A2 is an aerial project vicinity map of the proposed sidewalk on Old Baltimore Road, showing the location of the proposed sidewalk relative to the Hollowell community shared use path and its connections to nearby pedestrian attractions, such as the Southeast Olney Local Park, Southeast Playground, Chesterbrook Academy Preschool, and the Hollowell Pool. The Hollowell Community Shared Use Path also connects pedestrians to the sidewalks on Maryland 108, Olney Sandy Spring Road, leading to nearby pedestrian attractions such as MedStar Thrift Shop, Olney Farmers and Artists Market, Olney Professional Park, the restaurants and shops in the Fair Hill Shopping Mall, St. Peter's Catholic School and Church, Tech Certs Consulting and Training Academy, the Olney Village Center shopping mall, including Cafe Rio, Cava Meze, CVS, and Carmen's Italian Ice, Safeway Grocery Store, One Life Fitness, MedStar Health, Urgent Care at Olney, and Sandy Spring Bank and Trust as the ride on public transportation facilities and existing network of sidewalks. The new sidewalk will likewise connect to the existing sidewalk on Old Baltimore Road, east of Menden Farm Drive, connecting pedestrians to the attractions and amenities along Maryland 97, Georgia Avenue. Although not shown on the map, the amenities along Maryland 97, Georgia Avenue include the Reverend Georgia Lamendola Church, Chabad of Olney, Olney Baptist Church, Olney Elementary School, the Goddard School of Olney, Montgomery County's Liquor and Wine Store, Chase ATM, Shanghai Chinese Restaurant, McDonald's Scratch Kitchen and Bistro, Sardi's Tap House, Olney Grill, the Royal Bagel Bakery, as well as Ride on Public Transportation and the existing network of sidewalks. The proposed sidewalks are shown in red and existing sidewalks in blue. The total length of new sidewalk construction is approximately to be 1,400 total linear feet. 
in display B, a typical section of the proposed sidewalk on Old Baltimore Road, which has 50 foot of public right of way and this roadway being 25 feet wide. Thus, there is a 14 and a half foot public right of way available on each side of Old Baltimore Road. We plan for a five foot sidewalk with a zero to three foot wide green space between the curb and the sidewalk. Project justification. Montgomery County DLT evaluates requests for, for pedestrian facilities based on their ability to serve a public use and enhance public safety. The main goal for installing a sidewalk is to remove pedestrians from the path of vehicular traffic and create a separate uh, separation between the pedestrian and the roadway. Sidewalk insulation, likewise, is a key component of the county's climate action plan, setting up the infrastructure to allow pedestrians to safely walk, separate from the traffic to short distance destinations, as well as public transportation. This new sidewalk in the Hollowell community will connect to the network of sidewalks on Maryland 108, only Sandy Spring Road, and Old Baltimore Road leading to Maryland 97 Georgia Avenue. Removing pedestrians and disabled persons from the roadway and and oncoming vehicular traffic. The sidewalk will establish safer access to all areas of the community, including to the Southeast only local park, Southeast playground, Chesterbrook Academy preschool, Hallowell pool, and St. Peter's Catholic church, uh, school and church, Capital One and TD banks, Fair Fairhill shopping mall, only village center shopping mall, TechCert's Consulting and Training Academy, Cafe Rio, Cava Meze, CVS, Carmen's Italian Ice, Starbucks, Dunkin' Donuts, Alney Elementary School, the Goddard School of Alney, Alney Center Shopping Center, Chabad of Alney, Alney Baptist Church, Reverend Georgia Lemondola Church, as well as the ride on public transportation facilities and existing network of sidewalks. Pedestrian safety will be improved for this entire community. Tree removal and replacement. This project involves the removal of zero trees to facilitate the construction of the sidewalks. Although one tree will be removed due to its poor condition and extensive trunk decay. For each tree removed, three trees will be replanted. Therefore, three trees will be planted back into the public right of way of Old Baltimore Road. Placement and species of the new trees will be selected by the county's arborists. The tree protection report can be downloaded from the Montgomery County DOT project website. Copies of the Hollowell Community Tree Protection Report were mailed to residents with the sidewalk proposal on or about August 12, 2022. Cost and assessment. The estimated cost for installing the Hollowell Community Sidewalk is approximately $173,000. Estimated costs include construction, inspection, and administrative costs. Funding for this project will be provided under the County Sidewalk Program, CIP Project Number 506747. There are no properties considered to be especially benefited by the proposed improvement. Therefore, no properties are expected to be assessed. Uh, exhibits. As previously discussed, several exhibits are incorporated into the public record binder for your information and consideration. The exhibits include one, Office of Management and Budget, Sidewalk Program, Minor Projects 506747. Two is the vicinity, Project Vicinity Maps. Three is the Public Right-of-Way Construction Impacts. Four, our Arborist Tree Evaluation Report. Five is Montgomery County press release circulated November 30th and December 6th, 2022. Washington Times legal notice advertisement published on November 30th and December 5th, 2022. And Go Montgomery newsletter circulated December 1, 2022. Number six will be comments supporting the proposed installation. Number seven, comments opposing the proposed ins installation. Number eight, written testimony received prior to this hearing. Nine, the list of attendees to, to be added following this hearing. 
And number 10, hearing transcript also to be added following the hearing. Project related data and files can be downloaded from the Sidewalk Program's website. The files will continue to be available to the public until the record for this public hearing is officially closed on January 11, 2023. If the proposed sidewalk is approved, Montgomery County DOT will utilize a work order contract contractor currently in place with the Division of Transportation Engineering to construct the sidewalks. If approved and authorized for construction, we anticipate construction during the spring of, or summer of 2023. The construction is anticipated to take approximately two to three weeks, weather permitting, if authorized as presented. As previously stated here with us this evening is, actually Mr. Holly is not few, uh, here, but Mr. Barrios, uh, construction representative of the sidewalk program. Um, he and I uh, will be available after the testimony portion of this hearing to answer any questions regarding the construction aspects of this project. And now I turn the meeting back to Mr. Tamona. Thank you, Mr. Gonzalez. We will now hear testimony from those in attendance who wish to testify. If you have not signed up to testify, but decide that you would like to, please click on the reactions icon at the bottom menu bar and then click raise hand to raise your hand. Alternatively, if you have joined the meeting by phone, you may dial star nine from your telephone keypad to raise your hand. Once you are invited to speak and unmute yourself, please unmute yourself by clicking on the microphone icon at the bottom left of your screen. Please clearly provide your name and address for the record prior to beginning your testimony. In addition, you may submit your full testimony in writing. These submissions will be fully considered along with the oral testimony here, heard here today. Please reserve all questions for the question and answer session following the testimony portion of this hearing. We will begin with those who have signed up in advance to testify at this evening's hearing. Again, please be sure to announce your name and property address before providing your testimony. Lori, would you want to call each one? Absolutely. Um, first, we'll hear from Kathleen Donadeo. Is Ms. Donadeo here this evening? I do not see her in the lineup. Okay, next we will hear from Bobby Berg. Mr. Berg, can you unmute yourself? Can you hear me? Yes. Great. Uh, I submitted written testimony to this effect, but uh, for me, the bottom line is um, being able to uh, safely walk out of the covered wagon way neighborhood uh, and go to all these places that were just listed. Uh, uh, We've lived in this neighborhood for know, almost 30 years. And when my kids were young, they were on the swim team at the Howell pool. And, uh, you know, having a sidewalk there would have been a good thing to have at the time. Uh, I go jogging a couple, two or three times a week, and I'm almost always on that place where the sidewalk ought to be. So I have very personal reason for wanting it, but I think my personal reasons can be generalized to a lot of other people in the covered wagon way neighborhood that's you know like to walk outside the neighborhood or ride a bicycle outside uh, so uh, i see this benefiting not only the covered wagon way neighborhood but the there are six nearby houses on old baltimore road that face old baltimore and there's three houses that um on thorntondale court that back up to old baltimore that probably um could benefit too uh, Anyway, I think it's a great idea. I hope it goes forward. Uh, that's the end of my testimony. Thank you, sir. Um, let's see. Next, we will hear from Jim Goldberg. Mr. Goldberg, can you unmute yourself, please? 
Okay. Can you hear me? I sure can. Great. Um, uh, my name is Jim Goldberg. My wife, Cindy, is here with me. Uh, we live at 17136 Old Baltimore Road. Um, uh, we've lived here since August of 86, uh, 36 years uh, without a sidewalk. Um, we're curbs. Uh, and, um, but we're here to talk about sidewalks. So uh, I did not know until about two minutes ago that this wasn't the place to ask questions. Uh, and which is like all I have are questions. Uh, so I'll try to frame it in the terms of testimony. Um, I, I appreciate the fact that you rescheduled this uh, from earlier because uh, my wife and I, uh, we were we were not available when that uh, original time. So it was very convenient. Uh, and and uh, Mr. Uh, Tamana, thank you. I, I really appreciate the opportunity to talk. Um, and so I now know how many days the construction will take and kind of an estimate of uh, when it'll start and when it'll finish. Uh, and I, I do not have a, uh, a site plan. So it's it's difficult for me to figure out uh, uh, where the street ends, where the sidewalk starts, and how all that is going to fit in combination with the pipe that goes um, underneath our driveway and the swales that are, are on either side of the driveway that uh, take the water runoff uh, down the hill to the pond. Um, and uh, but I understand now from exhibit A1 and A2 what what the the purpose of those were, but more detail would, would help. Um, and the uh, let's see my other notes here. Um, Cindy, got anything? Oh, yes. Um, so maybe I don't know, eight years ago. Uh, um, Old Baltimore Road was widened. I, I kind of live on that curve uh, just across from Covered Wagon Way. And and uh, there were there were there are still a lot of accidents, but the um, uh, and we lost at least three uh, mailboxes to uh, vehicular accidents. And and so as a result to to. For safety purposes, they widened the road. So I've already lost some of the uh, that original easement that you all had, and I'm wondering, um, how, does that have an impact at all on um, the 14 and a half feet that you talked about? Um, do, in other words, do they subtract the two or three feet that they widened it on my side from the 14 and a half foot easement that you already have? Uh, oops. I asked a question, um, and um, uh, I do walk up the um, the path uh, uh, on the other side of Menden Farm Road. I do use that sidewalk. Uh, I you know cross over at the light, make a left hand turn, uh, and uh, and go to uh, the uh, temporary facility that they use for Chabad, um, and uh, so it would be nice to just. Uh, not have to walk in nice shoes through the uh, through the dirt, and uh, uh, it would be great to have a sidewalk. Uh, we're looking forward to it, it and yeah, ride bicycles on it. And uh, and, and I feel like we got the good end of the deal because we're getting a concrete sidewalk, and many of the areas in Hollowell are asphalt sidewalks. Um, and um, anything else? Yeah, how much of our driveway are we going to lose? Oh, that's the question. Um, I understand that we're going to lose some of our driveway. And uh, at some point during this discussion, if you could address um, the, the taking of, you know, the driveway. And, and I also understand that I'm now responsible to shovel when there's snow. So I, I pray for no snow, but uh, oh, yeah. and also... Uh, I understand that um, we can't park on the sidewalk because that would impair ability to use the sidewalk. And so it's going to cut down on the amount of usable driveway that we have. 
And that's kind of the reason I was looking for a detailed uh, uh, a site view, but um, I, I imagine that's coming. And that's all I have at the moment. Uh, and I, I will, uh, I'll go back into mute mode and uh, listen to everyone else. Thank you so much, Mr. Goldberg. Um, I do not have anyone else signed up to testify. Would anyone like to raise their hand to testify? Well, seeing that we have uh, no takers. Oh, Mr. Goldberg just raised his hand again. Let's okay. I just wanted to say that, um, let me know when it's time for me to ask questions, because that's what Absolutely. I want. Absolutely. Uh, Thank you. Absolutely. Yeah, once we're done with the testimonies, we'll have time to go over some questions. Okay, Ms. Helene. Rosenheim has raised your hand. Can you unmute yourself? Hi, hi I'm Helene Rosenheim. I'm president of the Greater Olney Civic Association, and I live at 3012 Shamrock Terrace uh, in Olney. Um, I basically just wanted to point out that one of the goals of the master plan was to create a, a good sidewalk network um, in the town center area and the adjacent area. So um, any projects that can contribute to that um, are, are an asset to the community. That's it. Thank you. All right, and we have Mr. Berg again. Would you, can you unmute yourself? Uh, yeah, uh, uh, I've left off one thing, two things actually. My address is 2712 Covered Wagon Way. Uh, in our neighborhood, I sent out an email asking uh, what people thought of the um, idea and uh, the houses on Cover Wagon Way and the two side courts are there are 28 houses. I received 20 replies. Every one was favorable. Uh, and again, I hope this goes through. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, well, uh, seeing that we have no more uh, hands raised, thank you all for your testimony and seeing that everybody who wishes to speak has had an opportunity to do so. This concludes the oral testimony portion of this public hearing. We will now have a question and answer session. Please click on the reactions icon and then raise your hand to raise your hand or star nine on your telephone keypad if you wish to ask a question. You may also type your questions into the chat box. And if we run out of time before answering all questions in the chat box, questions will be answered via email in the days to come. Okay, first we'll hear from Mr. Goldberg. Thank you. Um, uh, first, I wanna say I am currently on the board of directors of the Hallowell Homeowners Association. And I can tell you that uh, no one on the board of directors and uh, when they have public comments, no one has said uh, anything uh, adverse about the sidewalk plan. So uh, I don't know if that counts as testimony now that we're in question time. But um, so the, the questions that I have are, um, how much green space uh, do I lose to the sidewalk? Is it just the five feet wide area of the sidewalk? Uh, yes, that's a, a five foot wide sidewalk. That's it. The rest will be just be green, green grass. Okay, so I looked at, uh, I don't the information that you had, and it looked like there was uh, about three feet from the road that was grass. Um, and then 
And then you had the sidewalk. Correct. The, the goal, it, we say zero to three in case there's some situations, utilities that we need to bump away from. Uh, so we say zero to three, but our goal to, is three feet. And then we, from, from the edge of road, and then we build a five foot sidewalk, five foot wide. Okay. Um, is there any way that I'll be able to see what it's going to look like? Yeah, in so, terms of how many feet, because there's there's some considerations with the with the the movement of water through the swale and underneath the uh, uh, driveway, um, and um, that was yeah. Would we have to move our mailbox? Uh, we. If needed, if it is in the way, we will uh, relocate the mailbox. Thank you. And uh, and you mentioned the swale. Um, if th there's some portions uh, that, if it's in the way of the construction of the sidewalk, we will uh, regrade it or put a pipe and flatten it out. So before construction, we meet with every resident and uh, Juan, who is also on this call, uh, will meet face to face for each with each resident and show you where where the facilities are going to be placed. And you, you had questions about the the driveway. Uh, that will be specifically discussed at your perfect at your place. There, there's another question that I had uh, when I'm listening to all this. Um, what does it take? To approve this, um, Mr. Uh, uh, Tomas mentioned that it, we receive all this information, the testimonies, uh, the feedback uh, from the residents, uh, the plans, the the aerials, everything that uh, is collected regarding this uh, testimony, and it will. Um, Mr. Tamana will uh, review that and see what the final recommendation, well, it's not gonna be a final. He will have a recommendation which will go to our director of DOT. Uh, if Mr. Tamana uh, recommends that we should go forward and if uh, Chris Conklin agrees, uh, then it's just a matter of scheduling the construction with our contractor. I'm assuming that this money has already been budgeted and, and correct. That's, the problem. that's great. That's correct. Cindy, you have any questions? I have no further questions. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Is there anybody else that has signed up for questions or asked? I want to ask any questions. Well, seeing that there's nobody else uh, that has any questions and all the questions that have been asked have been answered. Uh, we will now conclude this hearing. We will keep the record open for four weeks. Comments and written testimony are due by Wednesday, Jan 11, 2023 at 5 p.m. Uh, Any Joe, written? Yeah. I'm so sorry. Mr. Goldberg has another question. No problem. Um, if this gets approved, um, I'm, I'm assuming it's going to be sometime in January uh, when uh, uh, Mr. Tamana makes his recommendation and forwards it to the director of DOT. Uh, and let's say it's a yes. How will we find out? So basically, Mr. Goldberg, I will be mailing out correspondence that encloses the recommendations. So you'll be able to read the hearing officer's recommendations and you will be alerted to the decision. 
Perfect. Thank you very much. And I, I appreciate the time that you've spent this evening. Uh, it was, it, you guys were very well prepared and, and thanks again. Thank you. Okay. Um, so does anyone else have any other questions before we conclude? All right, so seeing that all questions have now been answered, we will now conclude this hearing. We'll keep the record open for four weeks. Comments and written testimony are due by Wednesday, Jan 11, 2023 at 5 p.m. Additional written testimony and comments may be submitted by email and must be received or postmarked by the close of this hearing records. Uh, Submission should be sent to Lori Main Sidewalk Program, Division of Transportation Engineering, uh, 100 Edison Park Drive, fourth floor, Gaithersburg, Maryland, 20878, or email to laurie.main at montgomerycountymd.gov. Again, Laurie's contact information is also posted on your screen. Thank you for joining us this evening, and this public hearing is now concluded.